point that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, so here's the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Duho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Good kick to the body. to his counterattack here tonight, and again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, the head kick lands. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Choi. Another good stick to the head. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, man. Just one combination after the next. Just absolutely picking him apart with his strike. I'm almost shielding my eyes at this point, John. I can't watch this guy get beat up as he has been getting beat up. He has to make a change. He has to do something different. His opponent is too free. He feels too good in there. Go and try to interrupt this. Wow. Strong roundhouse kick there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Ooh, what a punch. Just over two minutes now to go. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy, what a shot. Knee coming to the body, it's blocked. Good jab there by the champion. And doing work with the jab. Nice straight right hand. Come on, you gotta keep your hands up for me now. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, flying knee. Now some separation from his clutch position. Right hook to the head block. Trying the flying knee there. Under a minute to go. Clean with the right hook. There you go. Look for the shot. 
misses with the right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That's how you control the fight. You fight behind the jab. Misses with the left hook. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh! Oh, gotta keep pressing here! Oh, man! Oh, massive knee up top! Oh. Outstanding back and forth first round. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Try to establish that jab. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Another strike to the head lands. Oh, nice. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Touches him with that left punch. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. March on three minutes to go. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Out of range with that one. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, nice. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. They are somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, big left hook there. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Under two minutes here to go round two. Good punch, man. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, 
every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Oh, nice. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Choi's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. That is a damaging kick that lands. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Clean punch right there. 15 seconds to go. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Right. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Liver kick. Oh, that lead right hand is money tonight. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Choi. Just over three minutes to go in round three. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, 
Pretty good jab there by Short. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, big right hand, yes. Straight punch is good. Left hand. Ooh, big shot land. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Looks phenomenal, man. The Korean Super Bowl. <laughs> Trouble now. That was Tony Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, that's nice right hand. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. That's pretty bad, and it's only going to get worse. You have to be smart with your experience. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. That one was oh. a great punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, nice jab by Choi. All right, well, he made no bones about his game plan. He was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again there. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay the course, to not rush, to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Connected with a solid strike there. Big shot to the head. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. 
under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, nice jab there by Shore. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from himself. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Just over two minutes to go. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, nice. Nice. Jab is on point right now. Well, this is getting hard to watch. Oh, shot the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. 10 seconds now to go in the round. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's looking to land the right just out of range. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Back and forth he goes. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly.
Effective jab there by Choi. He's got the single collar tie. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart, he's so disciplined, you kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Touched him with the strike there. It's hard to think about a fight in his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shut. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is, as, that is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon early. He made a lot of mistakes early, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. Able to block the punch there. Big elbow land on the side of the guard. Nice jab by Shore. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think I gotta protect my hand at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. Oh, man, he's exactly straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Look at him chopping the wood. Back to his feet. execution on that teach. He's given him so many different things right now. So the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the un-